So, while still waiting for my CNC, I reworked the cabling of my spindle. I'm not satisfied with the old one. The, the original aviation connector that comes with the spindle. By the way, this is 1.5 kilowatt, 110 volts. And this is 2.2 kilowatt BFD, 110 volts. So I'm not, yeah, so this is the original one. And kind of a joke when they put the, the female connector. I don't have the female connector anymore, but I don't like putting a 16 gauge wire to stick. It's not really realistic. Unless you like do a lot of work to dram all the connector. And for me, I, I don't know. I, I make kind of an OSD, OCD, sorry, OCD on cabling. So I found it on Amazon. This is a pretty nice aviation connector type. It's rated as waterproof. And then, but this mounting hole is 22 millimeter and the original 17.5 millimeter. So this won't work. This, can, this plastic cup won't work. So I designed my own 3D printed it. Uh, PLA. Um, uh, it's pretty durable too, man. Plus, it's black. Kind of like, I don't like the color of this. When it goes to my CNC, kind of a bit awkward color. But I still have the awkward color, yellow. That's fine. So, this is how you connect this. There you go. It clicks, so it's very secure. You cannot take this out unless you press this it's not a typical like this one is a s screw type this one is a, like a latch or lock type and it's way easier to solder uh, you don't even need to put uh, on the soldering tab you don't even need to put hitch drink because the plastic has like kind of had a each pin kind of have an insulation barrier in between. So technically you really don't need to put uh, uh, a string for each pin. Just solder it really, really good, nice contact. Uh, and then you're good to you just assemble this plastic. It's easy to assemble too. So let me see if I can show to you what it looks like. Let me see if I can still disassemble this. Okay, let me remove this one. Okay, I'm gonna... So just unscrew this, stress, stress reliever, and then... There you go. See how easy to disassemble it again and we can oh sorry you need to press this latch too to unlock it see this see the connector let me show get closer get close to focus and don't focus So yeah, just look at this plastic insulation divider for the f for the pin. So you take that keep it a little bit stiff. Uh, so there you go. Just do your soldering. Uh, solder it nice, and then you're good. And then you can easily put it back. But you put back as. But there's no manual in this baby the way if you bought it. Okay, you kinda need to figure like put it and then push it. You need to press this latch too. And then you start screwing. There you go. Start with this one. And there you go. So I guess I can still replace this cable if I want to in the future. For more flexible, connect this again. 
click. See the sound clicking. I also mod the VFD to put a, a temperature sensor because the fan, I don't like the fan, it's too loud. Uh, so I use this type of, you can buy this on eBay for $10. This type of uh, thermometer and I put this closer to the source of the heat instead of under here because I don't want to be affected by fan. So I rather read the heat coming from the source rather coming from the cooler. So this will trigger in 45 degrees Celsius if it reaches. So now if you plug it. Turns on. Don't need a fan blowing. So I'm gonna measure the temperature. That heat sink it says 20 Celsius. Which is James Fahrenheit 68. And then for my spindle 72. Ambient temperature according to my watch is 69. So I'm gonna run this cool. This is an air air cool spindle, so I just want to see how it performs like running full speed uh, for five minutes. So it's 546. 546 right now. It's running now. So, crank it to twenty four thousand. Again. Ambient temperature 79. Current reading is 70. It's 547. Aluminum temperature hit single 68. So we're gonna run this for five minutes. I'll be back after five minutes. So from here you can also have idea how loud is the air cool spindle. So it's five minutes now. Stop. It's still running full speed. Again, ambient temperature is oh, 71. Let's check the spindle thermal temperature. 73 aluminum 69. Okay, so this heatsink didn't even get warm at all from after five minutes. But our spindle is actually it's getting warmer now. It's 82. This is uh, Fahrenheit. Or 28 Celsius. Uh, it's warm. Not that. No, I can hold it. Eighty-three. On the top, it's seventy-three. Seventy-six. Around seventy-six to seventy. Seventy-three to seventy-six. On the bottom, it's eighty-four. And you can see air is blowing here on this cavity. It, it, air goes stuck in here and it blows here all the way to the body. That's how it pulls the spindle. Uh, so far, so it looks good. It's pretty stable. 24, that's the maximum speed. Lower it now. 
So that's the sound. Let's say set it up to 10,000 RPM. And stop. There you go.